Hello, hey everybody. This is Joey Sparks, and it's your reminder that God's mercies are new once again this very morning. Hope that you're following along in your reading each week. This is a part of our Parish Church of Christ Bible reading plan for 2021, and we're actually calling that a Bible rereading plan. So our aim for every month of the year is to not only read through a book of the New Testament, but to reread it. Let's be sure we read it twice. More is even better to reread and keep rereading and seeing the themes and the decided message of each book. So this month, in the month of January, we've read through Luke already, following that plan. And it's our aim this week, the final week of the month, final full week of the month, to read through it in full this whole week. And if you'll read four chapters of Luke per day this week, you'll be able to read that entire book. If you need that plan, we'll put it in the comments. We'll, we'll link it below and love for you to join in. Even if you have not to this point, that's fine. Love to you to hop in today. And then we look forward to reading Acts together next month. One thing you'll notice in Luke and then even into volume two of Acts is the movement away from temple and toward house. Okay, so you get temple scenes followed by house scenes quite often in Luke and in Acts. And you see that from the beginning. Luke chapter one, you've got Luke's prologue and then the scenes begin, the action begins in the temple with Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, receiving the news about John's birth. Then you see Elizabeth and Mary getting the news from the angel in their homes. And there's a distinction. There's a difference between how those messages are received, isn't there? Zechariah receives his message with doubting. He's made mute until John is born. Elizabeth and Mary are blessed because of how they humbly and submissively receive this message to be the mothers of these servants of God and of God himself. So powerful message, transition from temple to home. It happens twice in chapter 2. Twice in chapter 2, you see the family of Jesus, Joseph and Mary, going to the temple. And then when they return, they return home to Nazareth and Galilee. And it's their home that Jesus grows. First time, he's, he grows, he becomes strong, he's filled with wisdom, and the favor of God is upon him. The second time, after they find him in the temple, three days, you remember? He's talking amongst the religious leaders. He returns home, and it's there that he grows in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. That's a helpful theme to notice. It's developed thoroughly there in the first couple of chapters of Luke, but you'll see it from time to time advance from temple down to house. Then I think it's interesting to see volumes one and two, Luke and Acts. You see it on a grand scale because Luke begins, again, as we said, in the temple with Zechariah. And how does Acts end? Acts ends with Paul in Acts chapter 28. He's in the city of Rome which is a neat picture from the gospel of Jesus Christ has now spread from Jerusalem to Rome, the biggest, most major city of the day, and it's representative of its universal spread. It's now capable of getting anywhere in the world because it has now made it to Rome. But where is Paul? Paul is under what we would call house arrest, paying for his own expenses. And the book of Acts closes with these very words, that Paul was proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. It's because he was in a house. It's because people could come to him at any time. He was preaching without hindrance. God has now arranged it to where we access him, not through a physical location, not through the temple, not through a new temple, not through a physical place, but through his son, Jesus Christ. That's why it can now spread without hindrance. Luke intentionally plots that distinction and that transition for us. Temple to house. Question, are you a part of his temple, the church today? 1 Corinthians 3 lays that out for us, makes that connection clear. And is your house, your home, is it the place where Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, is known, is honored, is praised, and is obeyed? If not, why not? Would you decide and study and pray about making those changes today. If you have anything at all, please don't ever hesitate to reach out to us. We do thank you for watching. It's our prayer that the timeless word of God will be your meditation all day today.